Good morning, folks. We had a 4.0 in Quebec yesterday, which is unusual for that part of the region in both location and strength. 4.4 in Northern California is fairly large as well. Mount Kilauea in Hawaii is showing increased signs of volcanic activity and a fairly large earthquake swarm on the northwestern part of the mountain. Interesting to get a little look inside the mind of the average Iranian citizen. This was the number one story in Iran yesterday. Just take a look at the title. I'd like to give a shout out to J7409 here on YouTube for sending me this article. It talks about the new uh, swarm uh, of magnetic field mission that ESA is sending up there. Hopefully they make this uh, information public because we really need to know about what's going on with our magnetosphere, which they do mention is weakening as we ramp up to solar maxima. You know, we showed you this eruption coming off the northeastern part of the sun yesterday, but at that time, the SOHO images weren't fully updated. Now, it's very easy to see the double ejection coming out of the top part of the disk there. But take a look. As the second uh, part erupts, you can see uh, material being ejected from all sides. And when that happens, you can be sure that there's also some material coming right at you behind that disk. I do believe that we're going to see some kind of uh, some kind of an impact from this, perhaps even more than just a glancing blow. If we come here and we take a look at the CME evolution and low spiral, uh, this is the one available on NOAA. You can see that this second little eruption right there does appear like it's going to clip that little yellow dot, which is Earth, uh, sometime right around the beginning of the 27th Universal Time. So that'd be around 7 p.m. Uh, on the 26th. Uh, we also had this uh, filament eruption on the southeastern part of the sun a few hours after that other one. Now, I don't know which one of those uh, is causing the electrons and the protons to be accelerated towards Earth, but one of those is what did it. Now, what this means is that we're being bombarded by uh, extra particles, extra protons, extra electrons, and probably some extra uh, neutral elements as well. Now, how is this possible and why does this only happen sometimes? Well, you see that we have these black and white lines connecting everything to the sun. Those are the magnetic tethers and basically where that connects to the sun, uh, the earth anyway, is where you see the earth over there on the right. Now this is from the 21st. They haven't updated it in a few days as they sometimes are slacking on that. But let's go take a look what it was just a few days earlier, just to give you an idea of how often this changes and how much it can change. Just a few days earlier, it was on the other side of the sun. Now let's say that that's where it is now or what, where it was yesterday and those filaments start erupting. Well, if the earth footprint is close enough to any kind of major eruption on the sun that's when we get a particle event uh, like a particle flux so folks we also have these active regions uh, turning over the northwest uh, northeastern limb excuse me right here they are developing and uh, they do show some magnetic complexity so we'll have to wait and see what these turn into in the next day we are expecting to see the impact from a coronal hole stream from the dark coronal hole down at the bottom of the sun the only magnetic filament left is pointed right at earth just north of it and we do have those uh, active regions turning over the northeastern limb we'll have to keep an eye on all of it folks be safe